more than anyone. One man is single-handedly responsible for creating the entire sports celebrity endorsement industry. You see, long before LeBron, Serena, Michael Jordan, even Bo Jackson, it was a jungle out there. Pro athletes were routinely exploited by wealthy team owners and greedy corporations made to perform for pennies. And one man put a stop to all of that. In his chosen sport, he's known simply as the king. But he was a relative unknown back in 1960 when he made a fateful leadership decision. At the time, golf was considered a sport for the elites. He wanted to increase the appeal, make it more inclusive, and recognized that a mythical grand slam would be the ticket to capturing the public's imagination. If a professional could win the Masters, the PGA Championship, the US Open and the British Open, all in one calendar year, that would truly represent a grand slam. But to do so, he would have to become the first American since World War II to go and compete in the British Isles. Americans weren't going across the Atlantic Ocean back in those days. It was far too expensive. It was time consuming. There was no prize money to speak of. Fascinated by the rich history of the sport and its origins dating back to the old course in St. Andrews, Scotland, this former Coast Guard member knew. To give this Grand Slam idea any form of credibility in the eyes of the public, he would have to venture across the Atlantic Ocean. So, in July of 1960, he competes at the British Open, and with that go-for-broke swashbuckling style he would become famous for, rallied on the back nine to finish only one stroke shy of ultimate victory. The world press ate it up. Golf suddenly goes from something reserved for the upper crust to mainstream. The endorsement dollars started to flow. At first a trickle, then a tidal wave. Today, more than 60 million people enjoy and benefit from the legacy that is. Everybody loved him. If you knew him, you loved him. Uh, never said a bad word about anybody. Always uh, liked a good joke. Uh, but when he was on the golf course and playing competitive golf, he was tough. The king of golf, without a doubt, 